Hello everyone, today's data science interview question comes from Airbnb. We'll run you through a step-by-step -step solution using a framework that you can use for any coding question, whether in an interview or on the job. But before we do that, if you want to learn more about data science, hit the subscribe button. Our question is entitled Host Popularity Rental Prices. In this question, we simply have to classify host popularity according to the number of reviews first and then calculate the minimum, average, and maximum rental prices for each popularity category. So as an output, there will be four columns, host popularity, minimum price, average price, maximum price for each host popularity category, which will be defined according to the conditions given in the question over here. If there are zero reviews, that's new, one to five reviews rising, six to 15 reviews trending up, 16 to 40 reviews is popular and more than 40 reviews is considered hot. So let's explore the data set. Airbnb has provided us with Airbnb host searches data frame. And this is what the schema is like. Let's go ahead and preview the first five rows using the head function. Here we have the data frame name and the head function. Let's run that. Let's pop it open. Okay, here is the table. So in this table, we will create a host popularity column according to the number of reviews and then calculate the minimum, maximum and average price. So the crucial columns for our problem are number of reviews and the price columns. After exploring the data set, it's time to write our approach and split our problem into bite-sized pieces so that we can solve it. So step one, import your libraries. To manipulate the data set, we will import pandas and since we will be working with arrays, let's also import numpy. Let's remove this over here and move on to step two. That is format to two decimals. Now we will use code to for formatting and to see the output much more clearly, we will round the float values to two decimal places. Let's move on to step three. For ease of further calculations and operations, we're gonna rename the data frame and step four, we will drop the duplicates. Since our data contains searches by users, we may have a lot of duplicates. So what we want is for each host to appear only once in the data. Step five, we will use conditional statements with a Lambda function. So you can write an if else block to create a host popularity category, which might be a common approach, yet our code will be longer and harder to read. So we will use a Lambda function instead. And finally, step six, we will calculate the minimum maximum and average by grouping the columns so your output should contain three columns apart from the host popularity category column which is minimum price average price and maximum price for each host's popularity now let's get to coding so step one is already complete we're going to import pandas and numpy and step two we are going to format to two decimals so we will format the float values to two decimal places because we already have columns containing float values and we will do calculations in the next steps for the calculation of a minimum, maximum and average. So to avoid longer decimals, we will format the float values to two decimals. So let's do that. Step three, it's time to name the data frame. So our data frame is Airbnb host searches and Step four. So our data contains search by users. So we're going to create a column to find and drop duplicates. So each host appears only once. Creating this column and using drop duplicates function will help us detect and remove duplicate data. So now you might be thinking of dropping duplicates without creating host ID. To make it clear, let's compare both approaches. First, we will drop duplicates with a host ID and then we will try to drop without host ID and we'll compare the outputs of both using the information method. So let's do with first. So this is du dropping the duplicates using a new column called host ID. So let's run that. 
So this is the output. And if we drop the duplicates without creating a column, it's going to look, it's going to look like this. So as you can see, we accidentally removed nine rows when we did not create host ID. If we remove duplicates without creating the host ID, the listings that have the same price and the number of reviews, but totally different listings can be removed accidentally. To prevent that, we will create with host ID and add more information to the host ID to prevent removing this listing rows. Let's continue uh, with creating host ID column. And run the code. So here's the output. So here's the host ID, the number of reviews and the price. Now let's move on to step five, which is conditional statements with Lambda function. So Lambda function gives you the chance to apply a custom made function according to your needs. This time we're going to use Lambda for conditional filtering of the columns. So if the host has no reviews to be classified as new between one to five, it's rising six to 15, it's trending up 16 to 40 popular and more than 40 is classified as hot. So we will write a Lambda function for these conditions, which will classify the host according to the number of reviews to broadcast this function all over the data frame. We will use the apply function. So here's the code. Now let's run it and let's take a look at the output. And we've categorized them now. Let's go ahead and calculate the minimum maximum and average by grouping the columns. So when you say each in these coding questions, generally that means that you should group your data frame using the group by function. So we already created the host popularity column in our previous step. So it's time to group this by minimum, maximum and average price. To do that, we will use them as an argument in the aggregate function. So the aggregate function gives us the possibility to calculate minimum, maximum, and average. It also gives you the chance of adding them to the data frame as a column. So after all these steps, we will have the final code that looks like this. So here's the last step result. Uh, we're grouping by the host popularity and creating new columns for aggregate uh, of minimum, maximum, and average, and we're resetting the index. Now let's run the code and take a look at our final output. Let me pop that up for you. So here's the final output. We've got the host popularity, the minimum price, the maximum price, maximum price and average. So here's the final solution. And let's go ahead and actually uh, check the solution and validate it. Yep, our answer is correct. So here we are, we showed you how to classify the host popularity and find the minimum average and maximum rental prices on Airbnb. I hope you enjoyed that question. It contains many shortcuts and useful functions that you could use in other questions and real life situations. So if you enjoyed that, be sure to visit our Strata Scratch platform to explore more data science related interview topics. See you there.